Hi everyone, this is Shalu Kumar at Oskinas Training Cambridge. I'm an experienced Oskinas trainer for the NMC OSCE exam in UK and also uh, I'm an MC registered nurse uh, with uh, lots of clinical and educational experience and also I'm the lead trainer for Oskinas Training Cambridge. So welcome back to my YouTube channel. I'm back with another NMC OSCE video for you to revise for your exam. Uh, so if you do like my videos, please press like and subscribe. Uh, share it with your friends who are probably revising for the OSCE exam. So today's video. So I'm just going to give you a, another update on the oxygen administration, oxygen therapy station. This is one of your clinical skills in your NMC OSCE exam. What we're going to look at, I did a video a few weeks ago, but that was more about telling you that they could use different devices. Now again, this is another update on the different devices, but this is more about the venturi mask. So far, we didn't see venturi mask being used in the exam, but now we're seeing a more and more that venturi mask has been used as one of the devices to deliver oxygen for your oxygen therapy station. So I'm just gonna give you an update on that um, because it, it, it can be quite confusing how to choose the correct uh, adapter uh, and then you know how to use the correct concentration and everything for venturi masks. So we're going to look at that. Uh, so that's what we're going to look at today to just make sure you don't end up making those mistakes in exam and the thing is you're not caught by surprise okay so if you already know how to use the crack concentration uh, adapter for the mask then it is easier otherwise you might get a bit panicked and might choose the wrong one in exam so that's what we're going to look at it so we know our oxygen therapy station is 10 minute station you are supposed to give your patient oxygen therapy you're supposed to start that so that's the actual station now uh, I'm going to put this uh, on the screen. So there are lots of different devices you can use to give oxygen as we know in clinical practice. Uh, but the most commonly used are the simple mask like uh, just a mask, uh, nasal cannula and we have a code for that N simple mask we use normally say code M, nasal cannula N and then you have reservoir mask which will be uh, we will normally call that RM. Uh, and venturi mask uh, is the VM okay so um, so how do we then um, do VM or V okay so and then it should have now venturi mask comes in different concentration the adapters you you depends on what adapters you use you can give different concentrations of oxygen ranging from 24 up to the 60 percent of oxygen so uh, that's what we're going to look at today obviously we have already done the video i've already done the video on the nasal cannula simple mask and reservoir mask you can watch those videos on the other um, uh, you can watch that video on my channel but today we're going to concentrate on the venturi mask specifically okay so on the next screen we're going to look at oxygen prescription uh, with venturi mask obviously because we're talking about venturi mask so we're just going to have a look how can your prescription look like as you can see your target range on that oxygen page is 94 to 98 percent and you can see they have prescribed uh, venturi 60 with 15 liters is the device is venturi 60 uh, flow is 15 liters so of course that's your oxygen flow and the concentration of the mask you need to adapter you need to choose is the 60 and the flow for the oxygen on the on the meter you need to set it at 15 liter so it says the start date today finish date prescriber signature bleep number and uh, uh, and obviously the pharmacy check so it's a valid prescription so so if that's our prescription then we need to obviously choose the right uh, adapter for our venturi mask. So we're going to look at uh, at next screen what are the different concentrations and adapters you can get into uh, in the venturi system. So they are normally colors uh, and how to choose the correct one. Now uh, do you really need to remember the colors and choose it like that? I will not advise that because in exam you're a bit stressed out and you could just get your colors mixed up in your head and then it'd be very, very difficult, okay? So you could definitely make a mistake. So I would say the best way is, it's a very easy way to choose the right concentration because it says on the adapter itself. So as you can see, I've shown you the mask 
and then you, you know then you put the actual adapter so as you can see or the arrow arrow shows you on different adapters what is the concentration of the oxygen okay so it's showing you like um, uh, 24 uh, the blue one is the 24 and then the white one is 28 and then we got the yellow one like for example 35 liter red one is 40 and then the green one which we used which is i already shown you that which is uh, attached to the then oxygen because that was our uh, in the in the um, in our prescription we were asked to use venturi 60 as you can see the green one is already uh, attached it to the oxygen um, mask so so the best thing is to do is not go uh, get mixed up with colors in your head forget about the colors just look at the adapter itself all manufacturers have adapt uh, the concentration written on the adapter itself okay so just just look at that okay so make sure you just make sure you look at it and when you rotate it on the other side it normally says oxygen concentration as well what oxygen concentration to use uh, but that's on your prescription anyway but to to choose the correct one look at the adapter itself it clearly says uh, what uh, uh, concentration is how much percentage of concentration that is okay so it's because it's the percentage okay so how, what percentage of the oxygen will be given with this adapter so okay so when you, we talk about 24 28 and all that this is the concentration it's the percentage of oxygen we are giving so that's what it is so so we are going to choose the green one which is 60 because our prescription said 60. now we are going to go and um, uh, we're going to go and have a look um, on the a little video clip just a very simple few second video clip just attaching the adapter to your oxygen mask and then uh, attaching the tubing to the adapter okay so if you just go ahead and watch that 28 and it goes for four liters per minute so i'm connecting it to my face marks for the patient and i'm putting in on the tube then i connect the tube to the flow the tubing right uh, i hope it's clear how to attach the adapter to your oxygen mask then uh, attach the tubing to the adapter you've seen that in the video and then we're just going to quickly talk about the documentation how we do a document for if we use venturi mask so if we go back to our prescription so once we started the oxygen we will go ahead and document as you can see it says here uh, in the documentation part if you look i've highlighted in yellow so your signature name uh, date time uh, so you got the, all that and then you have the column for the FR is the flow rate D is device as you can see the last column that's where you will write your flow rate which is in the prescription it clearly said 15 liter and that's what we will then put the oxygen flow meter on 15 liter we would have attached the uh, tubing to the oxygen flow meter and we would have put it on 15 liter okay and then the device we used uh, six uh, v60 which is the venturi is the code for venturi is v so we will say v60 okay uh, so uh, as you can see the codes are always given on your truck chart as well but uh, if you use venturi mass 60 we normally call it v60 okay and it's also given on your truck chart so it is the v60 so that's what we or even if you put venturi 60 that would still be fine uh, so 15 liter you could put venturi 60 or you could put v60 both will be fine because v stands for venturi okay so i hope that is clear in your uh, mind now how to complete this station if you get the venturi mask and how to choose the correct one not by remembering colors just rem looking at the concentration on the adapter itself because it's always 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 there doesn't matter what manufacturer they use for these adapters it's always there so do look for that so you do not end up making mistake i hope you like this video if you do please press the like button subscribe to my channel we do uh, give full oski training online uh, face to face plus the combination of the two um, we do reset training for oski so do give us a uh, email on oski nurse training at outlook.com you can visit us on oski nurse training.com and also you can just go and read the google reviews from our nurses uh, who have been uh, successful in passing the oski so and what they've been saying about their experience for training with us okay so i will soon be back with another video for you so bye for now